Okay, so those of you that don't know me, I'm Tonya Hymers and I'm the service manager for BBS UK. So I'm going to share a few slides and talk to you briefly about the BBS clinic service and the patient journey. We're really blessed to have the highly specialised multidisciplinary service that you've been hearing about, uh, which has the added value of being supported by BBS UK in a formal and contracted way. So the service was set up across four trusts, as Professor Beals outlined earlier, in London and Birmingham in 2010. Um, the clinics are held in Birmingham Children's Hospital, Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, St Thomas's Hospital in London and Great Ormond Street Hospital uh, for Children. BBS UK have been integrated into the service from the beginning with a third sector contract with NHS England to provide patient and clinic facilitation services. In a normal year, we will see around 360 patients across 50 clinics, and that might be face to face or via telemedicine. We currently have two more or less full time family liaison officers, Angela, who supports the London service and Amy, who supports the Birmingham service. They have an in-depth understanding of BBS and its implications for those diagnosed and their families and provide an exceptional level of service. We're currently recruiting to two assistant patient liaison posts. The support and information and advocacy service that we provide is holistic and aims to ensure the patient and their family feel supported to attend. It can be a very stressful time for families, especially newly diagnosed, and our adult patients will most likely be severely, vis severely visually impaired and possibly with additional mobility issues and potentially extensive health issues. So our aim is to make the process as easy as possible and help them make the most of their appointment. For example, we will liaise between patient and hospital to book the appointment. Um, we'll organise patient transport or hotel accommodation, ensure the clinic's team are aware of any particular issues that need to be discussed and provide support, tea and coffee on the day, organised travel cost reimbursement and we'll also support with any local authority referrals and benefit applications afterwards. We also gather feedback and report back to the service to support ongoing improvements. To understand the importance and benefit of the clinics it helps to consider the patient journey from diagnosis. Rare disease patients face an uncertain and unpredictable journey, yeah. often involving multiple referrals and an endless array of tests. And once a diagnosis is made with a rare disease like BBS, there will be multiple appointments right. to manage, which can be overwhelming yeah, and put a significant stress on the once you had a week. I think we have someone. All um, right, fine. Okay. Let me have a look. Somebody's got their microphone on. Let's have a look. Okay. I think that's I think that's plug to the league. Okay, where was I? So we were talking about the um, the patient journey and the multiple appointments um, to manage that can be overwhelming and put a significant strain on the family and their resources, um, and that lack of understanding at a local level that can leave patients and their families isolated and struggling to cope, uh, and whole family support is needed. So for patients that are diagnosed with BBS, they are hopefully, or at least they should be, is referred to the BBS highly specialised service. And from this point, they will have contact with one of our team and a highly experienced clinical nurse specialist. They will be given an information pack of leaflets and will be directed to the BBS UK website, which has a dedicated clinic section full of information and tips to help them prepare and make the most of their appointment. At each clinic, Patients will see approximately six clinicians, including a geneticist, psychologist and endocrinologist, and each will have an appointment with them of around 20 to 25 minutes. Each clinic includes a multidisciplinary team meeting where the issues are discussed as a team and the various aspects of the syndrome are considered together. And that's so important. The majority of our clinicians will have seen many BBS patients and have an excellent understanding of the syndrome as a whole, which is incredibly reassuring for those attending. Rare disease patients, including those with BBS, become quite used to having their condition Googled by doctors in front of them. So looking ahead, we are concerned about the financial impact of COVID-19 and how it might affect local support services for our community 
and BBS UK is looking at what it can do to better support where needed. The clinics have vastly improved understanding and knowledge of BBS and longer term we are hopeful that this increased knowledge and research will soon lead to the treatments, therapies and technologies to benefit our community. In 2019, the clinic service added telemedicine as an appointment option to run alongside the face-to-face -face service in response to the ever-growing patient numbers. And this has been invaluable during the past year, enabling the service to continue supporting patients during the pandemic. A key development of the past year is that most of us have had to engage with digital technology in some shape or form, whether that has been to keep in touch with our family and friends, working from home, medical appointments and so on, and many of these adaptations will continue into the future. NHS England has been keen to learn from the highly specialised services, including BBS, already using telemedicine to seek out best practice. And to support this, BBS UK have contributed to service review meetings and focus groups, and have also held their own focus groups with patients and parents to find out from them what works well and what doesn't. And this has been fed back to the commissioning team. This work has contributed to the development of a paper that aims to provide a toolkit of proposed principles and processes representing a summary of what good clinical care looks like for highly specialised services to follow as they develop their models of care combining traditional and digital care services moving forward. An obvious downside to the telemedicine service has been the lack of testing. And although blood tests can be organised locally, getting this done with results ready for the appointments, that's not always straightforward. NHS England has listened to the concerns of the different services and provided funding for home testing equipment. And that's included blood pressure machines, talking bathroom scales, stadiometer and finger prick blood tests. These will be of enormous benefit to the patients and service once it is fully rolled out over the coming weeks and we'll be talking more about this tomorrow. Further information about the BBS clinic service and how to make a referral can be found in the medical information booklet and website along with a vast range of useful information and personal perspectives for those wishing to learn more about the syndrome. Liz, our service manager, will be telling us more about the information resources and services of BBS UK after the break. <laughs> 